Hi everyone, that's Max Eurovision and today we are gonna react to a new country for Eurovision 2020 in Rotterdam and it is... France, la France, 12 points, 12 points, Woo! So I'm gonna react So I'm gonna react to my own country which is mm -hmm, France And this is not a sponsorship with the Eurovision shop because they just don't call me So let me take my tea and my AirPods and let's react into the song The Best in Me by Tom Lieb so I watched before the live performance at the Eiffel Tower, like everyone, and I just want to react one week after to be sure that I like or not the song, or if the song is good for Eurovision. Let's go! Okay, so... This is quiet for the beginning of this song, and different from all the other years. Of course, the Eiffel Tower is beautiful. This is the most famous cliche about France. France. You, you are the best in me. When he's talking in English, I'm like, is it a French song? Is it something that just represents us? I don't think this is not. The type of song that we heard in France, actually. You are, you are, you are, you are the best in me. So of course the you are, you are is really memorable. Oh, give me that face. But I can't be boring right now. Come on, friends. Serve me something. The music in the background is coming. You are. You are what? You are the best in me. So I, I think the studio version is not the type of song that I really like to listen. But for a live performance, it will be really beautiful for your vision. But is it? really strong? Is it really something that just represents us? I don't think. I love this moment. Do, do, do. But this is such a melody festival and song. This is so Swedish. Of course, when you see the composers. Do, 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 do. But this moment with the piano remember me. It remember me, um, oh, the tower fell is shining, I love her. You're beautiful, girl. This moment remember me a Disney song. This is such Disney song. But is Disney song really good at Eurovision? Alright, not sure. Woo, high note. Uh, I kinda like the end of the song, it's something that we have seen before, of course. This is not something really French. I love this violence. You are the best in me. Spill the tea. So, what I think about France and Try, the best in me by Tom Leb. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like the song a lot. But the song is not bad, but it's not something that represents France. I need to be honest, and I'm so sorry for Tom Lib because I really like Tom Lib's style and, and voice. This is something that I don't really heard a lot, but I think he's quite good. He has a good voice, he's a good performer in live. I can enjoy the song for a live performance. Not with the studio version, but for a live performance, I can like it. And I think in Rotterdam, they could do amazing staging. We know that France is not really famous for doing great staging, but last year with Bilal Hassani, we have 
a good staging, an excellent staging. So I hope this year we will continue, but you know, we changed the head of delegation and I don't really like what they are doing for the moment, so... <clears throat> On the fact that this is Swedish composer and the singer John Lundvig who composed the song, I'm really angry because in France we have amazing composers, there are so many, we have different genres of music and they decided to, to choose a song because they are Swedish composers. Come on, his song is not something that feels French. I'm disappointed with that. I think the song is a little bit outdated, but the presentation from the Eiffel Tower was magnifique. So they are debate with the French and the English once again. I'm kind of agree that there are too much English in the song. And in France, you know, we really make attention to, to the French language. Institution here in France are really defending the French language because it's beautiful and I'm agree with this. We need to defend to defend our language. And so they ate everything that could be English. So to see that the culture minister just react to the song and say he wasn't a fan of it, I was not surprised. This is every year when we send a song with English uh, lyrics, they always don't like the song. So I am kinda agree on the fact that there are too much English in the song. and. I I feel like more comfortable with the French lyrics. I think it's better with the French lyrics than the English part. So that's my opinion. I don't know. What do you think, you? We need to make a point on the people who choose the song, actually. So we cancel Destination Eurovision for this year for an internal selection. I was okay with this because Amir Alma was selected internal by France Television, but this year I'm like, who choose a song? You know that we change the head of delegation, so I'm like, is it a good thing? And I don't think it is. And do I think we are gonna do a good place, a good score in Rotterdam? I don't know. Really, I'm confused about this question, but I think it will depend about the staging because the staging could be really a wisdom and amazing and magic like the song is. So it could maybe enter the top 10, but I don't know. So please be calm in the comment section or maybe on the right side of the scoreboard. But I don't think the song needs to be last compared to other songs. Ooh, the shade. It will depend about the taste of everyone and the staging. The staging will be the most important thing to make this song a success to Eurovision. And for the staging, I'm not sure if the guitar is a good idea because I think to have a guitar for the song will make him more more a cliche, more than the song actually. So I can that be disagree with people who say that he need to bring a guitar on the stage. But this is my opinion, what do you think? Do you think you need to bring us a guitar on the stage? Let me know in the comment section. So that was my reaction for the France entry this year for Eurovision 2020 in Rotterdam. I'm sorry if I don't post a lot of videos recently, but because I'm traveling to the Netherlands, I'm going to Amsterdam next week, so I'm really happy. And I'm sorry, I'm walking also. <laughs> yes, you need to bring that money. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow for a new video, don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on my social networks. And that's all everyone, bye, au revoir, hasta luego y hasta pronto, yes, au revoir. You're the best in me.